I just want to say before I get this video started, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do already. I understand if you don't, because, like, you're subscribed to 150,000 people already, but it doesn't mean you can't smash that like button, so please do. I'll say I'm going to be filming this from hand. Why is that stud there? Yeah. It's a, it's kind of a strange moment here. But anyway, I'm going to be filming this from hand because I'm going to get you uh let you guys see the best in all my creations. These are my D-Day boats. Um as you know, these things were very crappily made if you guys have seen any D-Day films cuz as soon as these things suckers would pop open, bang bang bang, everyone in that side there would be dead. But I'm going to be making a D-Day film sooner or later, and it's probably going to be my hardest film yet. So please, I need all the support I can get, guys. Um, Get those out of the way. I'm going to show you guys my Jeep, my Willy's Jeep. This is a custom made. I only looked at some photographs. The, all of the stuff I'm going to be showing right now is custom made. It's uh, these little things here where you can just hang up their little backpacks. It's a very, very cool looking Jeep. Probably one of my best World War II looks. Um, next I'm going to bring in this cargo truck here. It's a, um, it's an okay make. Um, I've made better. Just say that right now. And then, so right here it opens up and you got your cargo in there. It's a, uh, the Germans are going to be using this one. Along with this custom-made troop transport. Those wheels down there are supposed to be track, but I don't have track. I'm sorry in advance. So this is supposed to be a half track. And that's the front of the German truck. That, that was not supposed to happen. I'm just going to pop this back in here. Usually doesn't happen, but uh, the, that's a moment there. Okay, and then back here, that's where all it, they all sit. So now I've got that out of the way. I'm going to show you guys my troops here. Um, let's start with the Americans. You can see I have very few Americans for my film. Um, if you guys can find any places where I can find some really cheap ones, because these guys are all homemade for Lego sets that I already have. I just don't have the money right now. But if you guys can find something really cheap, because some of my Germans I got for like $3 and something, a minifigure, and it was pretty good. I'd do something like that again if I could. Let's just start off with this guy. Um, He's one of my pilots, as you can see. Ace, he's got Nick Fury's um, head, just a standard pilot cap and a um, bomber jacket. Nothing too special. Um... This guy right here, he actually, I took his body off the, or torso of the a Star Wars minifigure. I bought this vest, though. And then he's got his face, and this is a brick arm from the thing. I'm gonna probably release the movie on um, the anniversary of D-Day. Not Maybe not this year, because I'm already a year into making this film, and it's just a pain. Why won't this focus, focus, please? Okay, this guy right here, his body's a Star Wars guy. Got his helmet from Brick Arms, same with his gun. He's got a backpack. Pretty cool minifigure. This guy, same, I got a shotgun off a of Brick Arm, helmet too. This is really being annoying today. Focus, please. There. He's got his backpack, and you can see he's got a dog tag there. Next, I want to... Jeez, this thing is not wanting to... Okay. Next I have a... This guy looks special forces to me, honestly. Um, He's got his Thompson automatic. Backpack, helmet. He's probably one of my favorites. And then there's this guy. So sniper. He's got a backpack, a beret. Scarred face. Nice. Okay, let's get into the Germans. Two more Germans than Americans, but 
The trick is, to this thing is, you don't have to have a lot. You just have to keep switching their faces out after you kill off so many. Because these guys all look literally the same. This guy's your standard, um, I think his gun's a G12. I'm not sure. Um, I only know that because, actually, I'm not really sure. I have a book on World War II. And this guy, it's a car 98K, car carabiner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these guys' faces are all self-picked out because I didn't like the ones that they came with. Um, this guy's the same. Got a carbiner 98K. Um, this guy's got a grenade and a... I think that they call those grease guns. And this guy's also got a grease gun. I couldn't find my good MP40. So this guy's got a crappy MP40. And, yeah... Then we have our heavy machine gunner. It's going to be the guy in the pillbox. In case you don't know what a pillbox is. It's those huge, big looking bunker things from D-Day. Yeah. And then we have our commander who kind of looks like a scientist if you ask me. He's got his mouse. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. So that's my... Oh, sorry, like my other Lego sets here. This is all my D-Day stuff. Not a lot. I know what you're thinking. I'm never gonna make this. Oh, I also have a North African campaign. Um. Uh. Thing over here. It's a little bit broken. It had a turret on top of it. So bear with me, please, for one minute. Uh, I just gotta fix this. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, um... It's this North African campaign truck opens up here. Front like that. It's a little bit broken. Doors here, do they just flip open? This was my first World War II mock. All the stuff that I have, it's all custom made in this turret. This looks more modern day you ask me but all of my stuff is uh made i don't buy any of my stuff um and yeah thanks for watching and i want to give a shout out right now to rykill he's subscribed and i'm subscribed to him and i just thought it'd be nice that i give a shout out because his videos are awesome and I hope he thinks mine are too. Thanks for watching.